Hello, hello. I like what you've done with the place. Got it done. This is home. Yeah, I yeah. see. Welcome home. See. Welcome home. Okay. Welcome home. Welcome home. I'm digging it. <laughs> it's nice and Whoa, cozy. Oh, you got to go up there? I know, it's high up. That is up there. It's high up. Definitely high up, but Ooh. I'll get used to it. With time, with time. The ladder must be uh -uh. on the floor. Okay. Uh -uh. I just want to see. <laughs> be careful, honey. Uh, okay. Please be careful. I, yeah, Jada I'm Bettis going. is beginning her journey to earn a degree at Notre Dame, something her father attempted to do nearly 30 years ago. Now, you know, when I was here, the, my dorm room, my freshman year, was, at, was literally half of this size. I mean, the reality set in that she was no longer was gonna be home. Year. For 18 years, that was my number one priority. And now, she's leaving uh, my protection, if you will. So I, I was very uncomfortable. No, no. Height-wise, down, 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 down. Into the down. right a little bit more. And tilted. It's, it's no, no, slow, other way. Slow. To the other way. Hold on, hold on. I got too many chiefs. <laughs> a little bit down? Just don't look straight on. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. You look at, okay. at an angle. Okay. Tilt her head a little bit. Yeah, just okay. tilt her okay. head. Okay. All right, that we'll that see. Sense. Hold on a second. Okay. Yes. yes. Good job, baby. Good job. There it is. Good job, honey. I like that. Yeah. You like it? I like it. Yeah. Thank you. Voila. <laughs> Meyer it for Bettis, touchdown! In the early 90s, Jerome Bettis was hanging masterpieces of his own on the Notre Dame football field. Who else? Jerome Bettis gets the ball. In his sophomore season, he scored 20 touchdowns, a single season record that still stands. When you talk to the coaches here on campus, they feel this uh, man, by the time he leaves, will be one of the all-time great fullbacks in the history of this school. When I went to Notre Dame, there was never any discussion about leaving school early. I didn't even know that it was possible to leave school early. And it'll stay on the ground to Jerome Bettis for the touchdown. There was never, ever a thought of me going to the NFL after three years. Um, and, and so that was, it was foreign to me. At the end of his junior year, the inconceivable became a possibility. Jerome Bettis will reassess his college career. He's a junior, but may decide to forego his final season of eligibility. He'll meet with his parents and Coach Holtz to make the decision in a few days. Bettis, uh, you got a big decision to make, the Bettis family coming up, or whether or not Jerome will uh, forego his final year of eligibility and enter the draft. Which way are you guys leaning? <laughs> it, it's a toughie. Uh, he loves the school so much. It, it's, it's just hard to say. Seriously, it, whatever he decides, that's where we're going. He said, Mom, I want to leave school early. Why, why do you want to leave school? He said, um, I want to go into the NFL, and I need to do it now. I said, well, why, don't you, why, why can't you finish? Went there to get four years. He says, well, I need to do it now. He said, now is my time. When we were sitting in the meeting with Coach Holtz, the question did come up about me finishing that's when I promised my mom and dad that I would come back and get my degree. He looked at me right then, he said, he said, Mama, I promise you, I promise you I will. I said, well, son, let me say this. Promise yourself, make that promise to yourself that you will come back and you'll get this done. The uh, Los Angeles Rams select Jerome Bettis, running back to Notre Dame. The 10th overall draft pick ran for more than 1,400 yards in 1993 and was named Offensive Rookie of the Year. Jerome Bettis like lightning into the end zone. Pitch back to Bettis, turns it right. Bettis cuts up to the 30, Bettis to the 35, on his feet at the 40. Touchdown for Jerome Bettis. Once again, Bettis was at a crossroads. After my third year, it was a very, very difficult time for me professionally. The team had just moved from Los Angeles to St. Louis. Me and the new coach uh, didn't see eye to eye. They asked me to play fullback for a new running back that was gonna be coming in. And I told them that I would rather retire. And at that point, I was so committed to that, 
I decided that, you know what, it is in my best interest to go back to school and let me finish because if I do retire, I need to make sure I have my degree. I went back and re-enrolled in school and spent a semester uh, back at Notre Dame. Bettis didn't have his head in the books for long. They said I was done, over with, finished. Yeah, where they get a load of me? <laughs> he was traded to the Steelers, while his plans for a degree were put on hold yet again. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. They got me cranking up now. They cranking me up. Woo, it's gonna be a long day for somebody. He spent 10 seasons in Pittsburgh and has the eighth most rushing yards in NFL history. And it didn't look like the Bengals wanted any part of the bus. He finished his career a Super Bowl champion in his hometown of Detroit. I played this game to win a championship. I'm a champion, and I think the bus is, uh, the last stop is here in Detroit. He also earned a bust in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But there was still one thing he hadn't accomplished. When I retired, it did cross my mind going back to school. The problem was, you know, life happens. Uh, I got married, uh, two children, and I didn't know where going back to school would actually fit in. And over the years, I waited and I watched and I said, well, he can't do this. It's no, it's no time. I've got so much. It was just the best. I've got articles for days. Look at, look at my boy. I told him, you need a degree today in this world to make your life better, to be educated. And I wanted him to be educated. And I think, I think it may have been because my husband and myself didn't get our degrees. Jerome was so smart, he was the smartest child around, and used that. Go ahead on and let's do something with that. Nearly 30 years ago, Jerome Bettis promised his parents he would finish his Notre Dame degree. But an exceptional NFL career and a family to care for made that promise less of a priority or a possibility. An unlikely opportunity came about during the pandemic a chance to go back to school. The rule at Notre Dame is your senior year courses have to be taken on campus. Had it not been for COVID allowing me to get one semester in at home, then I don't know if I would have been able to complete the promise because a full year on campus, that was gonna be very, very difficult to try to pull off. And during COVID, I had three students in the house, my two children and my husband, and it was, um, it was interesting, but it was, it was good. Jerome's father died in 2006, but that wasn't going to stop a son from keeping his promise. He said, Mom, I'm going back to school. And I'm like, really, son? He said, yes, I'm going back. He said, but mom, I want my degree from Notre Dame. I'm so happy, I was so thrilled. First day of school, just getting on campus. Uh, it's cold as ever, but uh, I'm excited. And uh, here we go, here goes nothing. I wanna show my family how crazy it is that I'm back on campus in a blizzard. I send the video and my daughter puts it on my Instagram page and all of a sudden I'm getting texts and calls from everybody. Crazy. One, one uh, uh, social media post about going back to school and all of a sudden it's become a, uh, a story. I, I, I just, I don't understand it, but it's, it's crazy. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Joining us is Hall of Fame running back, and I guess we can call you college senior, <laughs> Jerome Bettis. 
Yes, that's accurate, uh, college senior. I had a class yesterday. I'm the only one there. I didn't realize that the class was canceled. My professor uh, sent emails to everyone, but I don't check emails before class. I just didn't <laughs> think to do that. So I'm in the classroom just sitting there uh, by myself. By so that, that's a lesson learned. The first day of class, I am so nervous. Sorry, yep, I'm double these kids' age. I'm sitting in the front of the class because I don't want someone to, to see me. I'm all the way up front, so I got a hat on. I'm thinking I can get away with this. And immediately the professor says, okay, so tell me about yourself and where you're from. And, and I said, oh my goodness. I just got flushed. I, I knew that I was in trouble. I was panicking. He stood up and it was his turn to introduce himself. You know, my name is Jerome Bettis. I played football at Notre Dame. I played then professionally for 13 years. I'm back to finish my degree. For me, going back to school, it was a huge challenge because I was not um, uh, technologically advanced, if you will. I'm assuming it's like when I was in class the first time. I got a notebook for every class. I open up the notebook and I'm writing. The professor's going through some charts and things on the board and I'm writing them down. And I look around and everybody's typing on their computer. And I'm saying to myself, oh man, this is bad. On Tuesday. He was going so fast and I was trying to write it down. I started taking pictures of it because I just couldn't keep up. And that's when I realized like, oh man, I'm, I'm a dinosaur. And I don't know how I'm gonna get through this semester if every class is like this. So I was out of my depth in terms of going back to school. So my dad, I had to get him a computer because he uses an iPad a lot. Um, and I was like, you probably need a computer to write papers because he's an iPad guy. So we had to get him a computer. I had to teach him how to um, make a Google account, Gmail account. Google Slides, all of those things. He's not the most tech savvy person. Um, he's actually not tech savvy at all, other than like a TV remote maybe when he's watching a game. So I had to teach him how to work a computer like a normal functioning adult. <laughs> there was a lot of chuckles along the way in the conversations about his um, inabilities to keep up in class, but he, he, he picks up things pretty quick and so he got it. Had you thought in terms of the introduction? Will that tie into the history, or is that kind of separate? What do you, what's the thoughts? Bettis may have felt ancient, but his experience was one of his greatest strengths. Well, it's the weight, the weight of the uh, actual products and not being able to get as much in uh, as they would want to. Jerome's perspective was unique just because of his age. He lived, he's lived about 30 years longer than anyone else in his class. And that was helpful. We are the Bus Boys, and uh, we're going to talk about the future of fracking in the United States. Natural gas and oil is extracted. He's been great. I've really enjoyed him. He's always sitting in the front of the class. He's very engaged. Um, he's very participatory. I think he's a great role model for students because it's proof of the fact that you don't have to be 18 and right out of college, or excuse me, right out of high school to go to college. You can always go back and finish. Mm -hmm. I always get here a couple minutes early. Yeah. In the front row. <laughs> he could have just you know, skated through. It just wasn't who he was. You know, it's, it's always uh, great. You turn in right here, and I mean, it never gets old. All the years I've been coming to university, coming down the street, seeing that dome, it's just like, wow. It's impressive. Just a great view, I tell you. Get the photo. Always cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I've never really gone to a basketball game. I left early, you know, my senior year, 
I didn't do all the things that the seniors got to do. I didn't expect that too many of the students would know who I was because they were probably five years old, six years old, the last time that I played in the football game. Thank you, guys. Thank you. What's up, baby? Thank you. Thank you. He's been gone 27 years, you know? It's like, do they really know who he is? But they did. Jerome, uh, obviously you're back in town, you're back in school, you're going to be graduating soon. It's a culmination of years and years of, of wanting to get it done. And, you know, having children now, I understand how important that is, that, you know, I, I set out something, I finish it. But also, you know, my mom, I promised her years ago, sitting in Coach Holt's office, that I would come back and, and graduate. So I, I owe that to her as well. Yeah. How are you? Oh, good to see you. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm just elated. I'm just so happy for you, you know. You, you told me. You told me. You, you told me. You promised. And you said, Mama, I'm going to, I'm going to get it. Yeah, I just didn't think 30 years. So. <laughs> I thought, I thought <laughs> it was going to be a little early. <laughs> well. It's be a little early. But it's done. It'll be done. It'll be done. Jerome Bettis had to pass one more final before he could be officially done with college. Here we go, last one, last one. 62, I think that's it, here we go. Hey, Mom, I finished. Just took the last final. Done. Ooh. It was one of those delivered on a promise made a, oh, a whole lot of years ago, right? And that's right. So just wish, wish Pops would have been here to see it. Yep, yep, yep. I will be thinking about him when I when I walk across the uh, <laughs> at the at the uh, graduation. He said, "Mom, I, I did it." Whew. All I could think about was his dad. <sighs> right. He would be totally, totally happy. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. Ooh. It just kind of took me back, you know. But it was, um, it was, it was just unbelievable. He would have been, you know, pumping his chest so proud to see me get that that diploma. Coming in the stadium in a much different way this time, and man, does this feel good. His commitment level speaks volumes about the person that he is. Although it took some time, 
it's no surprise to me that he actually got the job done. It just meant so much to me and my family to see him finally get his degree and be a college graduate at the ripe age of 50. <laughs> this will not take very long, and like you, I have been waiting 28 years to celebrate this moment. <laughs> I returned to finish my degree. Mom, promise made, promise kept. This is it. This is the best. Right, let me get one more. Oh, no. That was the, that was the top. You couldn't get any better. Yes. Mm. You did it. You got it done. It took a little longer than expected. Yeah, yeah. Look. A little longer than expected, oh. but um. It's all right. But, but it's, hey, but we got it done. That's oh. right. She was so proud. As a 18-year-old, you hear that and you kind of take it in stride. But as a 50-year-old, uh, when your mom tells you how proud she is of you, it means a whole lot more. Me getting a degree is not just for me. It was for my entire family.